This is what Trailblazer looks like when you first open it up. You'll see our start page over here. You'll also see our support phone number and our email uh, for support always at the top of this blog page. The content of this page changes periodically. Uh, this is what it happens to look like today. Over here, we have the help menu, which will take us to our knowledge base, our YouTube channel for further videos. In fact, this is where you are right now. The knowledge base lets you search or look for text articles. So if I wanted to add a new user to the database, I type in user and search, adding a new database user and setting their security settings. This menu will look different depending upon your security settings. This is uh, for a person who has maximum access, but you may not have as many of these items here as your access may be different. Whenever you click on a list item from the menu, the application menu, it will also create a open window down here. And let's see if I click on addresses. I get an address list. I can go back and click on contacts. That'll make more sense if I actually put some data in there. I'll put Smith records there. I'll go to my address list and just do a search of the first thousand records there. So I can switch back and forth. If I happen to open up a person's record in here, I can see that there's an open window for Beatrice Smith. I can go back to my contact list, open up another record. And I can see that I've got Janelle's record open. I can go back to Beatrice's record. I can also go back to my contact list and open up another if I so desire. Or switch over to my address list. To close a window, I have multiple ways of doing that. I can click the close button. I can click the cancel button because sometimes that button's context will change depending on the screen I'm on. I'll select, I'll pick Janelle and I'll click pick cancel there. I'll come up here and I'll click the X to close the list. I'll reopen Beatrice over here and uh, I'll actually I'll click with the small icon to close it from here. So multiple ways to close an existing window. I've reopened the contact list. Up on the top, we have something called a search tool strip. So if I do an unfiltered search, which is where I am right now, it'll attempt to bring back all of the records that are in my database, which happen to be, as of this moment, roughly 13,000 records. Sometimes I just want to know how many. So I click count, same number will appear, but I didn't load any. If I go back and do a search and say load them all, now I have 13,000 records here on my screen. So on the search tool strip, I've got the count button, the reset button, which will remove any search criteria. So if I type in Smith once again, I get 215 Smiths. If I say how many Smiths are in Minnesota, and I come over here and type in Minnesota, it goes to 172. When I click reset, it removes the Minnesota from there. It also removed the name from here. So if I go back and do a search, it goes back to my unfiltered search and brings back everybody in my database. So I mentioned already that this is known as the search tool strip. The tool strip down here is called the list tool strip. So the list tool strip controls this area down below, whereas the search tool strip relates to this area up above here. If I want to go in and change columns or if I want to do a word wraps, and that would make more sense if I squeeze this down a little bit and I click word wrap, you'll see that I can now wrap my contents within each cell here. I can do things like rearrange columns. If I want the email column brought over here, I can do a drag and a drop and pull that over, let's say in this case in front of the zip code. I can sort by data. I can click on a column heading, sort descending, sort ascending. So all of them are on the bottom now. I'm now at the bottom of the list as indicated by the elevator over here. I also have a left right scroll bar to move me across my report. When you're all done with Trailblazer for the day, click the large X in the upper right hand corner. Click OK. And the application shuts down.